guys may recognize this logo. Some of you guys may not. But if you're looking to modernize the Civic, this is probably the first step. It's cheap. It's probably about $120. It's like it was like $125 for me shipped to the door. This is essentially a push start kit for the Civic. You don't need a key. You just little fob that reads it and then press. Bada boom, bada bing. It's done. All right, so this kit's supposed to be plug and play. No wires need to be cut. You don't need to trim anything up unless you choose to. Everything's supposed to be plug and play. The only thing you do need to do is add a little wiretap here, and this is to the brake line, but it's optional. Um, some people disable the clutch so they can use this. Some people don't. I'll probably go ahead and disable my clutch. Uh, actually, well, I might disable the clutch. Maybe. I may keep the clutch. That way you get a clutch and brake to start the car versus just clutch. All the wires included. This is the scanner that you'd use for the, the fob. So this, this is the part you'd uh, wave the fob over. You can have this hidden behind a panel somewhere in your dash. You just wave it over it and you should hear a system. The system should be saying, hey, look, it's on, it's armed. Go ahead and uh, hit the button. But hold on, let's just see if we can hear the button. I wanna see what it sounds like. Okay, these tabs have been, these are pretty strong. Okay, so yeah, it takes a little bit of strength to bend the tabs, so you know it's not going to bend back once you uh, get it set where you want to. I'm probably going to remove my ignition cylinder, so I probably will not be using the key to start the car anymore. It'll be a, a true push to start. I will keep the key for the door. Oh, that is so sweet. Okay, so this is uh, part of what I was being told about. Let's go get this out. So you have two, cho you have two choices here. You've got the RFID little fobs, and then you get the cards as well. So you get the RFID card or fob. So you have an option. You can keep this in your wallet, wave your wallet over it, or you can just wave this over it. And this is the brain box here, you know, controls everything. All right, so this replaces your ignition harness and, oh, and it's already braided. One ground, and then these, I believe, go towards the fuse box. And then this goes into Brain box. You have to remove a bunch of panels like down here. Um, you have to remove your cowl like over here. The dash coverings here, here. My car has been stripped for a very long time, so I don't have to do all this stuff. So I've already done them before. There we go. So this next part's a little bit tough to do. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna record it, but I'm essentially taking a screwdriver and to this point right here, I'm taking a hammer and tapping it. And as I tap, it's pushing the screw. I guess this had this bolt around. I don't think I'm gonna do it with one hand though. But when you do this, you're gonna go up. You're going to lose your steering lock. So tap it out enough. Uh, I can spin it out by hand. And that's one. Yeah, so I was it. I don't think the guys at uh, JDI expected this to happen. So I was hammering this side and I guess I should have left this one in, but it spun the whole column and then bent the bracket. You need to unplug this. The harness will have this one and where you at? It's another one right down here. Unplug those two. And this whole thing as an assembly just comes out. <laughs> Future. So I was saying, so first you're gonna go ahead and remove this switch up here, which is this one. Gonna remove that second brown one. We'll go ahead and pull this out real quick. Bada boom, beam, bop, bam. And zip ties, zip ties galore, jeezums. All right, now that we've got both those plugs unplugged, uh, we've cut all the zip ties. Go ahead and pull this whole thing out, out, out. Freedom! Yeah, don't do that in case you need to replace yours. I'm pretty, I, yeah. No. I mean, potatoes of this. I'm gonna go ahead and undo this ground. Um, there's normally a metal kick panel or knee panel that goes like right in this vicinity. It bolts up. Oh dear, what is it? Okay, so it bolts up like way up. I thought you guys can even see that. So it bolts up there, I think, and somewhere over here. I don't think it's that one. Oh, actually, no, I think it bolts up here and here. 
Probably, but I would recommend just grounding the ground strap here just to a good known ground. So I'm gonna go ahead and undo this. Go ahead and get this plugged into the box. There it is, click. This will tuck up somewhere under here. I'll find a good spot once I handle my spaghetti down here. Go ahead and just do this right real quick. This big plug, that big plug. This small plug goes to that hole in the fuse box we left. So I guess let's go ahead and start with the small one. Oh, I mean, it's in there. Just, oh, now it's in there. All right, that's one. This one we may need two hands for. Make sure she clicks nice, hopefully. Wow, there's really not much wiring to that. It's like two wires in here. Huh. Okay, well, that's clicked in. <laughs> oh, we'll plug the button in first. Which, conveniently, I have already shoved into its little receptacle. I'm not going to lie. So, EK owners, they say it fits. It does fit, but it's actually a fight. As you can see, I was like struggling to get around the edge but it does fit true to the word it does fit and it doesn't look so it looks so homey ignore the dust but it looks so homey it's just like it was meant to be i don't know a secret do you, do you see that clear if anyone knows anything about it i know about lights that means it glows <laughs> anyways yeah we're gonna go and take this wire i'll run it down the column real quick what goes in there i don't know let's find out it's okay we're in yep we bought them out so that is switched up guys that's long like that's really long <laughs> you know what else is long and black my list of things to do with this honda still <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna stop before I cry. Let's, let's go back to the video. This is crazy. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. Um, for the purpose of this video, let's go ahead and plug it up. This is a two wire. The last two are two wires. <laughs> oh, no click. It's in there though. And there's one final part. Well, aside from grounding all this, I love you guys. I'm gonna need all these zip ties. This is a mess down here. Last part. There's no soldering. This kit does require just one splice connection. And this, I believe, is to the brake pedal switch. So you'll have to hit the brake pedal to start the car. Like a modern push to start car would be crazy. Oh no. So I was talking to the owner. Um, this whole kit itself is uh, pretty nice. It's got low power draw. All right, so we even got that plugged in and I'm just gonna go ahead and ground it up here, at least temporarily, so I figure out what I really wanna do with the system. All right, so we got that green wire finally hooked up to the brake switch. I'll give you guys a closer look in a second, but on the EK, it's gonna be a dark green wire way at the top. You can see I stripped back the wire a little bit, but it's gonna be that dark green one um, at the very top of the brake pedal. We're gonna go ahead and test, see if this works. I don't know. I did not disable. Oh, I think I must have waved over it. It makes noises though. So to start the car, make sure we're neutral. Brake is pressed. I think I need to press the clutch because my clutch switch is not disabled. Let's go ahead and bring this into shot. Oh, I told y'all it lights up. Look at that. It's like a little blue. All right, anyways, so we're gonna use one of these. Uh, I'll try the card later. But, so if I do this right, it should be wave. Okay. And now we press. 
Oh. Oh wait, I've got my wipers on. Okay. It's 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 doing something. Okay. I may have messed something up. Oh! Look at that! It's so bright! I wish it was red. I'm gonna split up yet. Take the key card. Alright. Now it's glowing. I mean, I mean, come on guys, what's cooler than that? Look, level with me here, right? What is cooler than a push to start car, bro? Like, my ST is push to start. My Honda is push to start. The Honda is 25 years old? Yeah, a little over 25 years old. What is cooler than this? Like, you... A button! That's it! And then, look! Oh. I don't know how to turn it off. Well, maybe the brake? Oh! That's how you turn it off! You press the brake back in, and then press the button. Turns off. Bada boom, bada bing. Okay, so I haven't hit the antenna yet. I'm gonna do that when I put this bottom section back here on. Actually, I may run it somewhere. I, I don't know, I'll figure out what I, I'll run it somewhere when I gotta run it, and then, you know, I'll be seeing me using my card and stuff. Um, But, <laughs> it looks so homey. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and swipe the card. All right? And then press the brake. It lights up. That's so cool. But my car is not going to start without the clutch, so let's go ahead and press the button. Excuse my wipers. I keep hitting the switch to make it go down. It should be sitting like somewhere like that. I don't have this secured yet, but my car is on. How cool is that? I don't know guys i'm blown away i'm amazed like i wasn't expecting this it brought me some joy like i don't i don't know it's something simple it's it's an old car you know not a lot of nice new things and i'm trying to modernize it little by little just to make it a little bit more of me i like it i like it a lot um i really don't have much more to say than great job guys this isn't sponsored or anything this is something i spent my own money on just to help bring the civic into a little more modern era style i think it's cool so thanks for watching the video guys go ahead you know put the like button if you liked it leave a comment tell me uh if you want to get one maybe i can see if we can get a code for it get a discount potentially i don't know but uh but shout out to jordan distributions for making such a cool kit and i guess till next time guys peace